morning. It's your friendly neighborhood scientist. If you're wondering why I'm in bed today, it's because I'm obeying orders to stay at home. I kind of miss my lab, but it's okay because I can be a scientist at home too. Speaking of that, does anyone know what time it is? I think it's Science O'Clock! Something strange is going on. Let's go closer to investigate. The coast is clear. Let's go. Aha! I was right all along. There's a thief in this house who has been stealing my chocolate. Well, today I'm going to be your not so friendly detective. And I'm going to use my science skills to suss up this chocolate tea. First, let me pick up this empty wrapper to use as evidence. Did you know that we each have a set of 10 unique fingerprints? Not only that, we also have some oil on our fingertips. Whenever we touch something, we leave behind some oil in the pattern of our fingerprints. I bet whoever ate my chocolate must have left behind some prints and I'm going to find them. Try this out with me. Here's what you'll need. Some powder, a small dish, a brush, the softer the better. Oh, don't you see mommy's makeup brush? Uh, no. you also need some clear tape, a dark piece of paper, and an ink pad. First of all, get an object that you'd like to search for prints. For best results, look for something with a smooth and dark surface. Next, pour some powder into the small dish. Then, use your brush to pick up some powder and gently brush it across the surface that you want to test. The powder will stick to the oil on the prints if there are any. For the excess powder, gently brush, blow or tap it away. You should be able to see the powder print clearly when you are done. Now we're going to lift the print. Carefully place a piece of clear tape over the print by starting with one end first. Smoothly but firmly press the tape down till you reach the other end. Now, take a deep breath and carefully remove the tape. The print will be transferred onto the tape. Place the tape over a dark piece of paper so that the print will be clear. Ta-da! have successfully lifted your first fingerprint. Hmm, looking at the size of this print, it appears to be a thumbprint. Additionally, did you know that most fingerprints come in three main types? They could be the whirl, loop, or an arch. This one here appears to be a loop. And now is the moment of truth. I'm going to collect the thumbprints of my family members using the ink pad and compare it to the one left behind by the chocolate tea. Hmm, none of them seem to match, but there's only four of us in this house. I wonder who else it could be. Hey, then you never try your own prints? No, why would it be me? Wait a minute. guys, so it's me again and I actually found out that the prints on the chocolate wrapper were my own. Turns out I got hungry in the middle of the night last night and I finished the chocolate while I was half asleep. So um, let's forget this ever happened, okay? Anyway, try this activity at home and see whose prints you managed to find. Have fun experimenting and see you on the next episode of... Science o'clock! Well, I'm going off to get more chocolate. Bye bye!